really gave me courage to do, to be better at things that I'm working at. It was really different, like just getting out and waking up in the morning and hoping that you see land, but you really don't. My confidence level is a lot better now, too. August 10th at the Halifax waterfront. Julian Colley and his cousin Courtney Williams are 17. They're from East Preston. 15-year-old Brandon Tolliver is from Cole Harbor. They will spend 10 days together on the Amistad. They will learn to work as a team and they will study the story of the Amistad prisoners who overthrew their captors and later won their freedom in America. I can't think of anything else back then that would have like measured up to this. It's just that they had that much courage and they did what they did. They're leaving their cell phones and families behind. It's a strange new world, a rocking, unstable one. As soon as we went, pretty much a few hours after, I could feel my stomach start to turn. Just knew I was eventually going to start throwing up. So, yeah, it's a, Courtney was giving me gravel pills too, so that helped. The captain told us that if we were feeling sick, to actually do something, and then you wouldn't even think about it. And then if you didn't think about it, then you wouldn't get sick. There is lots to do on board a schooner. Each time the wind changes, sails to raise or lower, and only elbow grease to get the work done. That didn't bother me. I'm all, all about the hard work. I wasn't too bothered by that. I actually, I actually had more fun doing the work than just like yeah. sitting around most of the day. Once I was working and stuff, and then moving the sails and like cleaning the deck, and then going down and cleaning all the compartments and stuff, it made me like it really changed my work ethic. But the most memorable part was probably being on watch till like late at night, just talking to the crew members, like just because I love learning and a lot of new things and stuff. So we just have conversations about the stars, like constellations, about music, about whatever's going on, movies, yeah. whatever. Just learn a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Like so far, the weather is fine. It gives the crew time to discuss the story of the original Amistad. 49 men, women and children kidnapped from Sierra Leone for the slave trade. They revolted, took over the ship and tried to sail back to Africa, even though they had no sailing skills. As Brandon Tolliver climbs the rigging, the lessons hit home. I think it's crazy that they did it without really having any experience before because I know if I was just on here, I'd be confused and I just, I'd probably be stuck as we are right now, pretty much for the whole time, just trying to figure things out. So I think they they had a lot of hair. They were, they were really determined to get back home. Freedom schooner Amistad has weathered worse storms than this, but to the inexperienced students on board, it feels as if any moment could be their last. Going through that through the storm that we had made me realize how much I had to move for it and how much I really like being around my parents and my brother and my sister and the rest of my family. Um, it's just amazing being out here. Me and Julia were pretty upset. We were pretty mad about being out there. We wanted to come home bad, but <laughs> we got through it. <laughs> the storm behind them, they sail on to Portland. It's really amazing that at the same time yesterday, there was like waves coming up over and the ship was like til almost tilted on its side. And it was very scary and like just 24 hours, look what it turned out to be. It's like, it's beautiful out here. This is actually the first time I've been up here. I love here. I didn't really have a good attitude about everything, but now I'm just so more positive and every, I don't know, everyone that talks to me now always says that there's something, just something about me. I don't even know what's like, I just, I don't know, I could say I'm more of an exciting person to be around. I appreciate life itself so much more now. I do, I really do. My confidence level is a lot better now too, yeah. like because we had to do all these different tasks that we didn't know about, and like and like the crew members and stuff helped me and stuff, like because 
I had a little low confidence doing things like brand new things and stuff. So now it really helps me. I can just hold my head high and just do things a lot easier now. And the story of the Amistad captives so long ago? They were charged by the U.S. government with murder and piracy. But a retired president, John Quincy Adams, defended them, and they were acquitted. They returned to Africa. It gave me courage to do, to be better at the things that I'm working at, and I'm sure it made not just me, but all of us, like, mm -hmm. feel more powerful about ourselves and with the things that we can actually accomplish when we really put our mind to it. Because we, we, we didn't go the exact journey they did, but we had made our own journey.